welcome back to this family adventures i'm lauren i'm gwen and if you're new here please take a minute to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified when we upload new content so what do we have today today i have the 49 pound box from karen's usa adventures we'll leave her link down below if you haven't already please go check her out she has um, mystery a boxes. Couple, yeah, a couple channels here on YouTube, a Facebook group where you can purchase her mystery boxes. This is January 2021's 49 pound box. I do have the other one, but you'll just have to watch that in another video. And we'll leave that link somewhere around here. But first, yes. we went out today, did a little shopping. And we stopped at this place called Duck Donuts, which I think it originates in Duck, North Carolina, if I'm not mistaken, because that's where we've seen them before. Yes. But they are so yummy. They are delicious. They're better. I mean, they were warm when we got them. They're not warm now. And I can't get the lid off. Isn't it? And this is not sponsored by them in any way. Yeah. Um, but we just thought we'd give There you is two missing. Because we ate them all the way yes. home. One was a friend's While they were toast. hot. And the other one, mine was, I think that was the pina colada one, which was coconut. And it was lemon, that one. I don't know why that would be. Yeah, consistent. we have, I don't really remember all of them. We have a couple They're chocolate, coconut. I have a Cinnabon in there, a blueberry lemonade. This is a blueberry pancake. I'm so excited for it. We have the maple bacon, strawberry with sprinkles. And the strawberry off to the side with the chocolate drizzle is a chocolate covered strawberry. Okay. And then I, some of them are like that coconut one at the top. Those two, I think they were like sand and they were beachy kind of names. Not all one. <laughs> yes. So, and then I think one's like strawberry cheesecake. So we're super excited to try it. The French toast was so delicious. I said it, it tastes exactly like French toast. Mm -hmm. Um, it made me want more. But they just say duckdonuts.com here, so. Well, it says they're growing. Or are you going to mention how they make them? Right yes, there? so they make the them franchising fresh. Franchising information. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's made to order. Um, you pick up the menu. You can also create your yeah. own. Um, and they do it all right there in front of you. They're freshly made, fried, and then they collect them in the box, and then they dip them and all that fun stuff for you right there and you can actually watch them do it which is fun and they had really good hot chocolate because i got that <laughs> it's really really cool here today windy too yes so so now to get into now i want to eat one on well after the video so my favorite thing about the outside of this box <laughs> is the pool tab <laughs> So once we have it open here, oh, this is nice. So I'm gonna, sorry if I hit you there. We have the red wrapping, tissue paper. It says Happy New Year. We have a castle card with 2021 on it. And it on the back, it says, we have lots of surprises and mysteries in store for you this mm -hmm. year. Let the magic begin. Nice. Um. Karen, just take all my money now. <laughs> okay. It says Happy New Year. Yeah, so the sticker is super cute. Let's get into this. Now, I see it uh, doesn't look like some of it is wrapped. So we're going to close it. And I, I think this is a hat. I'm going to pull this first. So this is cute. It's from the Disney store. Um... This retails for 12 pounds, so probably like 15 US dollars, maybe a little more. But we have a black, a black, a blue, a blue, navy blue, I would say, or cobalt Is that blue. part of the wishes? I don't know. Because it says wish, wishes, wishes come, come true. true. So maybe it is, and if it is, then they donated money to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So I'm I'm not a big fan of this, but I think this will be good for either Mike or Richie, don't you think? Mm hmm And it is a one size. I'm assuming it's an adult cap. And it's very lightweight. Like it's very almost see-through. So that would be great for Florida in the parks. Um, and then the back. It's not a Velcro, it's this little slider. Thing. Yeah. 
and then wishes come true and it's the blue and silver so that is super cool then the next thing we have a whole bunch of peanuts what do you call them no peanuts, peanuts. i feel something big Packing but i don't want to grab that it doesn't seem like anything's wrapped up so the next thing oh i was feeling this with my villain so it looks like we have a little um makeup bag so this was seven pounds i'm not sure where this is from maybe truffle shuffle but it's super cute you have maleficent ursula evil queen and corello all my faves and then surprisingly this is actually nice because it opens up all the way wow. normal makeup bags here in the u.s don't open that much you know there's always like a little part on the side so stuff doesn't fall out but i do like that feature and then the back has like a blue and black smoke feature looks like to me don't you think that looks purple looks like it what am i saying blue yeah, yeah. <laughs> purple and no purple. <laughs> your covid vaccine is affecting you <laughs> <laughs> no i have nails um color street has a smoke for you oh, remember yeah. the fall that is exactly what it looks like yeah it does so you should have had that on and you would have been totally feeling it yeah that is exactly what it looks like but it's almost like a pleather material yeah, so. yes so that will be useful what else is in here feeling something oh we have a shower cap <laughs> so we have a stitch shower cap and it looks like it has um little confetti in it yeah so that's fun. Do you use shower gel? Yeah. I never have either. So we'll we'll see what we'll do with this. But that's fun. So this was two pounds, and I'm assuming this was from Primark. Okay, next thing. I don't know if there's a, a limit on how many items are in the box. I think it's one last thing. I don't want to ruin it. It's it might be this. Oh, I see something else. Okay, so we have this Fantasia. So this is a 3D feature. And this is from the Disney store. This retailed for 24 pounds. It looks like a book. It even has gems on the back. It says, it's kind of a fun thing to do the impossible Walt Disney quote. And then it has the gems on the front. That's a lot of detail. A little pull tab. <gasps> this is nice lots oh, of stuff i like yeah so we can definitely use this for magic mail so you have a little maroon tassel i'm getting my colors right <laughs> let me remove this so the glare doesn't affect us here okay so we have a Fantasia, looks like a movie poster with all the characters. We have a pen here with the with the mop and buckets. Mickey, that's gonna be hard to see. But it's a high quality pen. You wanna show off the um, cards? These are nice thick pens. Are they all the same? I don't know. No, they're all different. Can we take them out of here? Yeah. And then we have a Mickey, Sorcerer Mickey pen too. And he, that one's different. Oh, they're postcards. Mm -hmm. So this reminds me of the Mary Poppins thing I got in my Bibbidi box. But we don't have anything this fancy in our Disney store. I'd be buying it if I did. Yeah, so, so it looks like it's for the 80th anniversary of Fantasia. Oh, yeah. Well, just different scenes. I can't show all of them. Every one's different? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. There's not two of the same, I don't think. Oh, no. They do. They repeat. Okay. So, we have Yin Sid with the butterfly. Sorcerer and Mickey on the book. That is actually what everything is packaged inside of. I don't know these characters. Fairies and flowers. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it doesn't tell you what they are. I think this is my favorite one. All the baby Pegasus. Would it be Pegasus or Pegasi? <laughs> I like that one. What's it say? Fantasia. No, the Oh, ult the ultimate insight and sound. I like that one. Oh, yeah. That's cute, too. In the cotton. And they're thick, too, because I keep thinking I have... More than one. one. And the Swisher Apprentice. It's just how they draw. Nice. So, you may see these in future. You know what I was thinking of? What's with this, done with this bag? <gasps> oh, look at that. To we could use that for magic art when we get our oh, postcode. Post postcard. You don't know your colors, so I can't see. <laughs> postcard. You know when we get our magic mail. Put it in this. Unless you don't, you probably want to keep it. No, that's fine. Um. Then the inside here, you have another poster print once you pull out that insert. So that's super cute. Okay, and then the last thing in the box that I'm seeing is our favorite type of gift. Yeah, that's why usually that's on the top. Yeah, so you we... You get worried that there weren't <laughs> anything? No, but this one looks crazy. We gotta try it, though. So we have Cadbury Dairy Milk. There's, like, those peanuts on all over everything. It's called Marvelous Creations Jelly Popping Candy Inside of the Chocolate. Now... I'm curious on this. Because you always make a mess. I make a mess. So it just comes, that's, and then. You really can't see anything on the inside, but... What's supposed to be in there? I mean, there's something there. Yeah. Wow, something. It's like Pop Rocks inside the chocolate. Is it popping? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jelly popping candy. It's like jelly beans, Pop Rocks, and chocolate all in one. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. Multiple different textures. Mm -hmm. I'll stick to my gingerbread, Karen. If you haven't heard already, I'm obsessed with the Cadbury gingerbread chocolate. That was a holiday edition. And um, Rachel, shout out to Rachel if you're watching, refers to me as the gingerbread monster. <laughs> So that wraps up the 49 pound box, uh, January's mystery box. That was fun. I don't think it's bad. It's, it's different. It's just that different when you get that. The jelly. Shit, yeah. Like, like I don't know if it's a jelly bean. It's not like a gummy candy though. So I think my favorite item in this box is probably the Fantasia book. Not gonna wear my shower cap. I actually do like this though too. But yeah, I think this is super pretty. And my dad just put it away nicely, so thanks for putting my favorite card on top. <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy with this. Now shipping is expensive for us here in the US. It's roughly around $30 US, 26 and something change, or pounds and pounds. So, you know, that's always a factor. But she's, uh, Karen's now offering uh, to combine shipping with orders. So, hopefully that will, you know, save me some money for February's boxes. So, I'm super excited to get into the next one, which is the 70 now. 70 nine pounds so yeah please like comment subscribe and we'll see, see you in the next, next one, one. bye, bye.